So it's up YouTube, um, Kylo here. Um, quick update, sorry for not making videos for a while, I've just been busy. And plus, the records that I ordered took a while to get here for some reason. They usually don't take a while, but this time they took a while. So I finally got them today, and plus I gotta order some more records. I need to pre-order new Die Arts Murder and whatnot, so. And the new Rings of Saturn and other stuff that I want, but uh... Yeah, but that's besides the point right now. Um, right now we're gonna unbox a record that I'm catching really excited. I recently got into these guys a lot. And this is Bulk Thrower. This is Realms of Chaos. This is their second album. Um, I forgot the name of the first album, but the first album was more grindcore than, than death metal. And this is their more death metal with grindcore, so it's basically kind of death grind album this is their second album this is i think their first album with um earache so here it is and yeah so i got the full dynamic range version of this uh, i'm planning to get i think i forgot what was the name of the album lords of war or something like that like their other album that's got full dynamic range reissued this year so yeah pretty cool so it looks a mox is bad boy i think this week we also get uh Freaking was in the Necrolis, something like that from um, from Carcass, full dynamic range, and I think we also get something else. And then in July we get the, I'm pretty sure we get them both thrower. And then in August we get um, Terrorizers, World's Downfall. So I need to get, I'm planning to get all the full dynamic ranges that are reissuing because I know once they sell out they're going to be out of print for a while and... Yeah, I'm going to hate myself when they're out of print, so I can never get one or wait until another print comes out. So, yeah. But this is one that catch my attention because, uh, I, like I said, I just recently got into Bolt Thrower. I knew these guys for years. Never thought of them as a death metal band in the beginning. Well, when I mean that, I was like, I don't know why. The album cover and whatnot never seemed like a death metal album but then when i started listening actually listening to her music i was like holy shit these guys are fucking old school death metal i love that so yeah here it is arms of chaos back um i think i know people prefer the original album cover because this is the reissue album cover but uh i actually like the reissue album cover it just looks awesome i know i'm a sucker for album covers like this where they have soldiers on the ground shooting uh, you know me, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so it kind of reminds me of that. Also, kind of, I don't know if you guys know, um, Killzone, basically the hell gas. Um, yeah. So it comes with, um, uh, lyrics. And this is just called, oh wow, they're called Bolt Throwers, those soldiers. Pretty fucking cool. You got sketches, which is cool, which is actually really nice. Huh pretty fucking awesome and then didn't think of it like that during the different sketches they had in the bottom I, know what, I like stuff like this because I also like drawing sometimes so stuff like this always intrigued me pretty cool and standard gram nothing special but um here it is on um, plain black vinyl and standard gram, not 180 gram, but still pretty cool. Pretty happy I have this full dynamic range. So the audio is supposed to be full superior compared to the rest, even though I thought it was going to be 180 gram. But um, I can't say much about both or um, this record. I personally enjoy it. Like I said, there's a lot of grindcore elements with this record still. This is their last, I think, record that still has the grindcore elements with them. And then they went to full-on death metal with their next record. Uh, oh my god, I think... Oh fuck, I forgot the name of that record. But uh, I haven't figured out that name of that record. But I'm planning to um, order it too. But um, yeah, it's just... What can I say about these guys? I, like I told you, I just recently got into them, so I don't know crazy much about these guys but uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking but out both or they're, they're actually really fucking cool because uh, yeah, they're fucking old school death metal with grindcore so pretty cool basically death grind in the beginning in my opinion and then yeah just pretty fucking awesome <laughs>
definitely recommend it. It's a really awesome, awesome band, which it's legendary. They're pretty legendary because I knew these guys for a while. I just never really thought of them as a death metal because of their album cover. But then after listening to them, I was like, ah, shit, don't judge a, uh, don't judge something from their cover, to be honest. But really fucking awesome. I recommend checking those guys out. So if you have not, definitely check these guys out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vinyl unboxing. Um, I'm gonna, I am have two other records to unbox for you guys. So you're basically going to get three vinyls today. Unboxing, so. And yeah, so we have that. And then maybe during this week I'm going to do another metal vinyl. And then the rest I need to save up money. Because, oh, i got to order some records. I need to order the new Dyer's Murder. I also need to pick up check in seven and um, what else I need to order some records from um, Tara Tenbus I think that was the name of the guy of the band it's a pretty fucking kick-ass band I'm really into uh, I love ah fuck how do you say it? Olive Guard whatever Olive Guard black metal whatever it's called I actually personally enjoy uh, the music from them so yeah take care guys stay fucking metal and See you guys next time.